Welcome to Waterhole. We're sitting down today with Mr. Jake Taylor. How are you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. Doing all right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, cool. So uh, we're out here about Battle of the Bands tonight. Just found out Cade Roth and a Black Sheep won. Do you yeah. agree with the ruling? Do you what, what do you think? I don't know, man. They were all pretty good. Um, I mean, they killed it, obviously, yeah. but I think everyone else did. So, I, I mean... You know, I think the judges know what they're doing for yeah. sure. So, I mean, if he busts his ass, you know, yeah. I feel like he deserves it. So, yeah, cool. Yeah. So, you, you were ta- talking to us earlier that you're hoping to go and get in the Battle of the Bands next year. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, how are you going to prepare for that? What What's the thought process in trying to prepare for next year going to bat- Battle of the Bands? Okay. So, the thing that I've been doing recently is like just asking people for advice, you know, like people that kind of have been in this for a long time, you know, yeah. uh, kind of know what they're doing. Um, so I've just been trying to get as much advice as possible and just trying to apply that whenever I play, you know, like uh, uh, one of the judges here, Jeremy Studdard, he actually, I asked him for advice after one of the Battle of Bands, you know, yeah. and he told me to you know, like interact with the crowd more, um, make people feel emotions, you know, stuff like that. You want to make the people like in the back of the room feel something, and mm-hmm. so I just try to take that advice and you know apply it to when yeah. I play. So yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, so what do you think of the judges out here tonight? Yeah, that was kind of crazy. Wyatt and and Randy, right? Yeah. 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 That was that was pretty wild. Pretty cool to see that. In yeah. Stillwater. I, I don't <laughs> know if you knew, uh, There's also Bryce Conway and JJ Lester from okay. uh, the Great Divide. Yeah, from the Great tonight. Divide. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Brandon Jackson. And Br- Br- Brandon Jackson as well. Yeah. Boys okay. of the OSU Cowboy Baseball Team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So, so. Moving on to, to, to next year, what 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 uh what music you got c- coming out here? So you got, you got, you got anything fun? Coming yeah, out I got some stuff on the way. I've uh, been in the studio a little bit. Um, yeah, hopefully pretty soon. Yeah, uh, but I'm trying to release at least like four singles this this whole like year, maybe more. Yeah, that's cool. What yeah. what where, where do you go record at? You just record at home or what, um, what do you do? I record at the OSU studio here. Oh really? Um, yeah. Yeah. Who who, who else do we get stuff? Sean. Sean Thane, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Sean. Yeah. I'm I'm good buddies with Sean. We actually write together. Olsen. Really? Yeah, S. C. Olson. That's that's a stage. <laughs> name, do, do, so. do you ever write with uh, Sean and Reagan both? I haven't written with Reagan yet, which I want yeah. to. I yeah, really yeah. I think you wrote one of the uh what songs have you written with Shane? <clears throat> so or Shane. Sean. Sean, um Shane. I've SC. written Shane. <laughs> Loving on the Levy. Okay. Uh, which is kind of like an upbeat. It's it's got like fiddle and stuff. It's gonna be it, pretty cool, you know. Uh-huh. Uh like an older sounding country song. And then we wrote this one called Cold Shoulder. Mm-hmm. And it's uh we based it off a true story about one of his buddies that, you know, just didn't didn't treat a girl the right way. And it's kinda like the story about that, about how like she showed up at his door drunk one night and he had another girl in the back. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, and so crazy. it's called Cold Shoulder. It's yeah. kind of talking about him. So it, it was kind of cool. So yeah, we got two songs that we got completely done, but hopefully, hopefully yeah. some more soon. Yeah. So I, I was telling you earlier about Reagan songs that we put out with him. Yeah. So yeah. just today I got scheduled. We did some. We did the same thing with uh, Sean, and we got "She Broke My Heart." Yeah, that's uh, a good one. Hillbilly Cocaine. One. Yeah. Uh, if I got paid for loving you. Yeah. yeah. And heaven won't be the same. I think it was without a bottle in my hand, but we shortened it. Yeah, yeah. So we got those coming out with Sean. That's um, a good set right there. Yeah. yeah, that's a good set yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, we we've been talk, talking about wanting to like get something just because like we 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 like Sean, we we like Hart Reagan, like we're, yeah. we're buddies. They're good guys, man. But we we've been wanting to get something together like where we like kind of similar. What I don't know if you heard of like what Dwayne Bryan does like at Copan, where they kind of gather around like with some like songwriters and yeah. people that play mm-hmm. we kind of want to do something kind of similar here in Stillwater with kind of like our our like younger friends that you know yeah. that play that go to school here or whatever oh, yeah. and kind of like do it like in, in his garage or something like just gather on like open up their garage like that'd be pretty move cool move the yeah. cars out just so, so, because we got a couch and like some uh-huh. chairs and just ha- have you guys like get around there like write songs play, play a little bit like maybe get an amp yeah. or whatever put it out there like just something real ca- ca- casual get yeah be- beers on us that'd be awesome yeah. dude yeah, that's, I, I, that's what I'm saying. I think it'd be, I, I think it'd be, be a great time. Good idea. I love how yeah. you just offered up my garage right now. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I'm, yeah. Just, I'm making plans for you. I hope you know that. Perfect. <laughs> oh, yeah. But so, yeah. you just released a single, Black Beauty, not too long yes, ago. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, I've been playing it here on Thursday nights. I appreciate that, too. And that's uh, awesome. how's that doing for you so far? It's it's doing pretty well. Uh, we just had a bump in streams recently this past week, so that's pretty nice. From Finland, I don't... <laughs> Shout out Finland. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's doing pretty well. And hopefully, like, the more music I put out, you know, the more it just kind of bumps it up. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. 
Is that the is that the only song you have out right now? That's the only song I have out right now. It took a while to, to finally get something out, but now that I have something out, I'm just trying to just go, go, yeah. go, you know? So do you play around, like, the area some, or? I do. I'm trying to get into it more because, uh, I, I mean, I started out in Grove, Oklahoma, um, and that's kind of where I got my start. Really? Um, and then, you know, I've tried to branch out, but here it's a little hard to get into it. So that's kind of what I'm trying to work at now. That, 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 that's kind of crazy. I, I didn't know you were from Grove. Oh, we went really? To, we went to NEO together. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 I, 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 I never knew that. Well, <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the club. I, 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 yeah. I, I'm from uh, Kansas, Oklahoma, if you didn't know that. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Just Pretty little, close. Like yeah. 30 minutes south of Grove. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. What, what, where, did, where did you graduate from Grove? Uh, 21. 21? Yeah. Okay, I, I graduated 20 from Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Crazy. Yeah, cool. Small that's a cool world. connection. Small yeah. World. Yeah. <laughs> that's actually yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. We did a, uh, so Cole and I were student ambassadors. And any you, yeah. we were upstanding students like that. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, we're uh, doing something at this dinner thing, where we had to like serve food or like pick up plates or something. And he was playing. Yeah, um, at I don't remember where the community center, maybe where it was. I don't remember. It was near the police station. Yeah, that was really. Mm-hmm. Um, but that I think that's the first time I heard him play um, up there. It was for a tailgate, wasn't it? No, it was indoors. Okay, and they had. I remember they had lobster or crab or something because i had to pick up the shells oh yeah yeah i don't remember what specifically it was for but he was probably p- p- picking the same places our boy t dylan moss was at dude too probably hey, do, you you know Mo- I, did you know I dylan did you know dylan moss dylan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. i've actually i played it a few of his like songwriter nights oh really uh, cool yeah, yeah that's bad awesome. brad so oh yeah. bad brad yeah. yeah great place to eat and actually oh, yeah. a sponsor of this it's, podcast it's yeah. pretty good oh <laughs> there we go yeah yeah well, howdy folks welcome down to bad brad's barbecue Stop looking at Gus. Stop it. Stop it. All right, folks, you see here, Jack is trying to throw some cornhole, and he just can't get it done. I just cannot hit anything today. I see that, Jagger. Man, you gotta have some bad brads. Play that crap in your hunger. Vernon always coming in clutch with the barbecue. Oh, yeah, look at that bite, folks. All right, Jagger, let's see it. Look at that. Brad no. Bad Brad's, where you can't help but be good. Like Jagger said, folks, Bad Brad's Barbecue, where it's good to be bad. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Yeah. I know this one's the podcast, CH Lone Star. Yeah, we'll do you have any merch out? I actually do. It's not online, but uh, I do have some that it was kind of like a test run, you know. Mm-hmm. But if you guys want, you know, I, 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 Jake I Taylor see, hat, I, I see you got the hat. Yeah, I'm trying to sell some. I, so. I, I'll, I'll tell you what you need to do. You, you need to get hooked up with our boys over at CH Lone Star. Okay. They will do drop shipping. Do, do, do you know what that is? Yeah, yeah. So like, you don't even have to keep it. You don't have to buy it out okay. front. Okay. People will go to your on. They'll set yeah. up an online store for you. You get, they'll go there, buy the merch. You don't even have to touch it. You just get the money. <laughs> yeah. And then that th- they take a portion of it. They make it for you, dude. It's that's what I need. Yeah. <laughs> they, I mean, they made these shirts for us. Yeah. Right here. Okay. Yeah. Those are sick. Yeah. yeah. They uh, they make great stuff. They I, make all I, kinds I don't of think stuff. they made my South Southall shirt that I have. Okay. I, I have no idea. They, they should have though. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Southall, you need to get your receipt. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I know you. I know you're li- listening to me. <laughs> If Jeremy ever responds, I'll tell him. Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> they make socks, hats, uh, koozies, bags. Yeah. They'll make underwear. They'll literally make anything. Jake Taylor want. underwear. Yeah. yeah. That'd yeah. be pretty sick. That, that's really what we've <laughs> all been I, I, wanting. I heard. I heard. <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect. Thank you, CH. <laughs> 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 Are you coming to Calf Fry this year? Uh, yeah, I am. Yeah. Okay. All three days? I think so. Okay. I haven't bought it yet, but I probably need to oh, get on it. Yeah, you got to buy it early. <laughs> yeah. You got to buy the pre-sale. Where yeah, it's, cheap. Exactly. it's a little cheaper. Yeah. yeah. Who are you most excited to see out here? Oh man, I, I'd probably say Flatland. Honestly, really? yeah, I've yeah. Just, I've been a, been a fan for a while, but you know, a lot of the other guys I really like. So you, uh, it's, it's a solid lineup. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, I think I think top bottom is like <clears throat> it's like. I think it's a crazy good. Line, line it's. it's I, I think. Good. I think people might may, may underrate it, <clears throat> and I don't know why. Because I mean, it's top you to got, bottom. You got our boy Geo headlining. Uh, yeah. Geo's yeah, Geo's a friend perfect. of the pod headlining. Yeah. Then you got Braxton Keith closing out the oh, night. God. Another <laughs> friend of the pod. I mean, it's just a great yeah. night. I, I think uh, that's Thursday night, right? Uh, I don't know what night Braxton's closing, but that uh, <clears throat> that would be perfect. It, if yeah. it, probably if, not if Braxton, night. yeah. But if, if Braxton was cl- cl- closing out mm-hmm. that night, like, that's kind of a crazy night yeah. for, like, for just for us. Yeah. Because, like, yeah. cause like uh, who, who's before Treat? <clears throat> um, that's is, a is, it, is it somebody else we know? Is it Lance? Probably. That would be crazier. If Probably Trenton that day. 
Oh God! If, if it's Geo, Treaty Oak, Lance, Trenton, oh man, Emily, <laughs> and then Braxton, yeah. Oh my God, that'd be kind of <laughs> that, wild. It's just all yeah. people we all we've people had on, know, and, yeah. and we know like we're like we're like that's yeah. pretty cool. That, I was, that would be I was cool. looking last night, not to talk about us the whole time, but I was looking last night at the sheet, and so last year going into Calf Fry, we had nobody from Calf Fry mm-hmm. before, really, and already we've had seven out of the fifteen. Yeah. That's that are wow, really? That's, kind of that's, ha- that's half. That's yeah. Half. yeah. That's crazy. Hey, y'all are moving up for sure. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Can you tell us what your next single's called? Or is that for yeah. information? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell. I'll tell. Uh, it's called Penny and a Well. Okay. Yeah, and it's it's about it's about a girl. Uh, you probably know who you are, but I haven't said it yet. So <laughs> Another just, Orlando story just, here. Yeah. Just say it out loud, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you'll know. You'll know when it comes what, out. What what Penny do, do to you? Penny, <laughs> yeah, Penny in a well. Did, did, you, did you throw her down the well? Yeah, I did. <laughs> it's it's kind of it's kind of wishing, you know. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, Would you do you know when that's coming out? Um, hopefully in a month. Hopefully less, but I would say a month. Yeah. So like, maybe, maybe the first weekend of May or mm-hmm. the second weekend of May. I'm thinking. I think yeah. yeah. So, yeah, stay in tune. <laughs> what do you stay tuned? <laughs> what do you do when you're not? Uh, out playing shows or making music or going to school like what are some of your hobbies um man i just like hanging out with friends just finding stuff to do uh <laughs> me and my buddies the other day we were talking about how we're all like pyromaniacs <laughs> wow. yeah. not arsonists but pyromaniacs is there like a, there, there, that, that's a very fine line i hope you're, you're, you're it towing is, a very it, fine it is line. very fine like i could have gone a direction that you know could have put me in jail yeah. but this one's like it could but it's not going to that, that. <laughs> <laughs> that's like yeah i just do this for fun right? yeah it's like, yeah it's like i want to do it all the time yeah <laughs> i love watching things burn i want to see the world burn i like i like hunting too um i fishing like fishing but i suck at fishing so i don't really do it that's because you're not using n- n- native lures is what you're doing oh really native lures not another n- sponsor of the podcast <laughs> I'm just, I'm just it, it, in, in around. These are like alley oops right now. <laughs> Dude, it, it, it's kind of great, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> and he's really tall too, so it even get, goes with like the basketball reference. He's just he's just throwing it up for us. Yeah, and, done. <laughs> and you know he's out here at Tumbleweed already, so we don't have to plug Tumbleweed. Exactly. Oh man, Another I go to Tumbleweed every pocket. week. You know? This guy is at Tumbleweed all the time. Really? I yeah. see him all the time. Yeah. Out here, so. I always dance to my own song, which is kind of weird. But <laughs> he, you know, I did dude, notice that he that, does. That dance is his fire, own. dude. Da, don't don't you dude. dare dog on that, dude. I'm not dogging on it. I'm just saying. That I got a fire. crazy story about last week's though. Okay, so I've always wanted to ask a girl to dance, like oh, just a random girl dance, like when my song's playing. I don't know why. That's just, I mean, something I thought would be cool. You know, that's called a, that's called being <laughs> egotistical. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's, again, he's yeah, dancing a I just fine line. Try, I just want to try it. You know, I, I'm not like that, but like he's dancing a fine wanna... line between that being cool and that being borderline <laughs> egotistical. But okay, so I went up to a girl and I was like, "Hey, like while my song is playing, I was like, I was like, hey, do you want to dance?" And she was like, "What's your favorite color?" And I was like, <laughs> what? Uh, "Blue." And she was like, "Okay." <laughs> I was like, "All right." What? So we danced. You know, <laughs> what hey, kind of people are you I, asking? I really, I don't know. But uh, she was cool though. Um, but then we we were dancing. It was going well, you know. And then <laughs> by when the song's over, I was like, "You want to know something crazy?" <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! I was no. like, I was like, "This is my song." And she was like, "There's no way." And I was like, "Yeah." I was like, "They play it all the time here." And she was like, "Really?" And I was like, "Yeah." And she was like, "No, you're lying." She didn't believe me. <laughs> and then my friends came up to me, and they were all like, "Ah, your song playing!" <laughs> and I was like. <laughs> you you, you, you should have just brought her up to the DJ booth and, and you're like, Rich, show her. And you just and like, I told her, I was like, I was like, ask the DJ. <laughs> and she was like, no. I was like, but I ended up getting her number, so it worked. I, guess, I guess. There we go. Hey. Yeah. So that was, kind of, that was, was kind of funny. It was kind of funny. That, that, that's yeah. really what matters in the end, right? If, I, like, if, I guess. If yeah. you brought it all the way home, then like, it doesn't matter if it was egotistical or what. You still got her number, right? I still got her number, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you can't dog on that. Yeah, yeah. It was play, just funny. It was players just got funny. to play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he oh nev- he never he a- never he's never the one that asked for it to be played either. So like I don't know if that's even better. I don't no, know that- if he's sending people up there to ask or <laughs> if they're just like oh I'd love to hear this. That is better because like I feel like if I asked for it, it would be different. But like people just ask f- for him to play it, and I'm like okay. <laughs> like that's all i hear my song play i'm like that's the sickest thing ever like that's cool the first actually the first time that he played it was the night it came out 
Mm -hmm. and I hadn't heard it yet on Spotify. So that was the first time I heard it was at Tumbleweed, which was really cool. And all my friends, <laughs> all of my friends I, were there. That, that's kind of crazy. And <laughs> they weren't expecting it to happen. And then it just came no, on. And I was no like, one asked for it that night. Really? I had just, I knew that it was going to come out. That's cool. And then I saw yeah. him in there and I, I think I me. asked you. you really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're just out here making dreams. I, I was about to say you're right. <laughs> For real though. I mean, it was like, it was a really crazy thing. Like I really appreciated that. Yeah. So yeah. Of course. Yeah. So I, you, you, I assume you're at NEO and that, that, now you go to school. Yeah. So what, yeah. What, NEO for two years. What, what do you, what'd you get? Where'd you get your degree in NEO and then what are you doing here? <laughs> so it was just business. Uh, okay. Just my associates in business administration. Um, you know, pretty easy, pretty simple. But I actually went to the Garth Brooks seminar here mm -hmm. while I was at NEO. And that's when I decided to change my major to music industry. Oh, really? After that, because that's kind of what it was about. Ooh. Like it, it was about music industry and all that, and like the insides and stuff. And I was like, man. And then there happened to be a program here that gave me a tour that day, hmm. and I sat in their songwriting class after, and I was like, I'm doing this. So that's when I changed it. Was that day? Hmm. That's yeah, cool. It was. It's pretty cool. So, what kind of options does that give you to go into? So it gives me multiple options. Like I could go into production. I could go into like the actual business side of it, which I think would be cool. Like I would totally be an A and R agent for for like a label, you know. Mm -hmm. Like I think that'd be awesome. Um, I could also go the songwriting route, um, like the artist route, obviously, which is probably the hardest to do. Mm -hmm. What um, about a manager for a, a, a Red Dirt podcast? <laughs> I could I could probably manage that. Yeah, that'd, <laughs> that'd be pretty cool. So, uh, but yeah, there's a lot of options. Uh, I don't really know. I mean, obviously, the passion for like you know singing and then also songwriting is you know the biggest yeah. but so that's what i'm trying it, to do it sounds like this needs to be an interview in multiple class we're going to put it out and then we're also interviewing you for a job <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly hey uh, i need uh, one the starting salary is zero dollars yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it's an unpaid internship okay <laughs> yeah, yeah i'm sorry we don't have the money to pay you but <laughs> you're still going to come out and work for it <laughs> uh, what, what kind of music do you what, what who's your favorite artist right now oh man favorite artist right now I don't even know. I mean, I hate saying this because it's basic, but Morgan Wallen. Oh, my. <laughs> really? Really? I mean, okay. Like, thank you guys for watching today. <laughs> really? <laughs> I, I just, I feel like his songwriting is just so good. And like, I don't know. Just every song. Does he is, write his own songs? A lot of them, yeah. Mm. Not all of them, but, you know. Mm -hmm. It's just, I, I, I catch myself singing to like every single one of them. Um, but, I mean, now... I don't know. There's a lot of new guys. Um, I like Wyatt a lot. You know, mm -hmm. I think Wyatt's pretty good. Me too. Um, let's see. I like uh, Brooks and Dunn. Like older guys, like Brooks mm -hmm. and Dunn. Um, I think my first like Randy Travis. I like Randy <laughs> Travis. Yeah. Um, Toby I'm Keith. digging up bones. <laughs> Toby Keith for sure. He was probably the first guy that I was like, man. Yeah, I, w I went to his concert. And that was the first concert I ever went to, you really? know. That's and cool. yeah, I was like, I kind of want to do this, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. And then you know, obviously like Garth Brooks and them, like uh, George Strait, you know, guys like that. Yeah. That mm -hmm. was, you know, blazing the trail. So. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Do, do you listen to like a, a lot of Red Dirt? Yeah. Like, like yeah. smaller artists. A little even? bit. Yeah. 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 I I've been listening to a lot of Red Shahan here lately, and he he can attest to it. It's too much. Yeah. 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 I, I don't know why. I've just been kind of diving in. Do you like the damn quails? Yeah. I've listened to a few of their songs. Yeah. Okay. All right. Never, you know, I'll let the Morgan Wallen comment <laughs> slide. Since you like the damn quails, we'll. we'll I mean, like I would say, like, for for a few years, that's when I was, like, really into Morgan Wallen. But, like, I don't know. I've been trying to branch off, you know? Yeah. Because I wasn't, like, raised on country. I think that's why it, like, surprises everyone when I say that. It's, like, I wasn't – like, I kind of had to figure it out on my own. So, mm -hmm. like – Okay. It's, like, now I'm trying to branch off. People are giving me, like, these other guys to listen to. So, yeah. you know. I mean, obviously, he's good. There's, he's m massively successful. So. Yeah. 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 I'm just – I'm just giving you crap here, but <laughs> – Yeah. What uh, – um, do, do, you, do you have the Stillwoods? I haven't heard of them though. There you go. They're, they're, okay, when you go home, when you're driving home, Still you're gonna, you're gonna leave the tumbleweed. Yeah. This is the first thing you're putting. Okay, you're I gonna will. Put on. Oh man, I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> I, I I I was kind of hoping he would say something like one of the people. I was gonna ask a couple because I wanted. If you say Morgan Wallen's a he needs to be exposed. Mm -hmm. He, he hasn't yeah. heard everything that we've heard. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta listen to Steelwoods. Okay. Yeah, I will. I mean, and then you're gonna get obsessed with them, and then you're gonna find out that they're quitting music this year, oh. and then you're gonna. 
Be- better than the fall. You're, you're gonna. Yeah. I want you. I'm not kidding. You're gonna get in your car. You're gonna be like <laughs> that. Jagger told me to go listen to Better Than Fall. Yeah. You're, you're gonna B E T T. You're gonna type that in. And it's gonna pop up. And you're gonna say, "Oh, the steel was there." It is. <laughs> uh, uh, and you're gonna click on it. And it's gonna burn. 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 And you're like, "Oh my god, what did I just hear?" Yeah. yeah. And then and then you're gonna be hooked. <laughs> yeah. It's just that's just I just. I wanted to give you a very visual representation of yeah. what's going to happen here in about 20 minutes. So. What about Zach Top? Do you like Zach Top? I like Zach Top. Okay. Yeah. 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 Zach, Zach Top's Top. good. He's a, he like just recently blew up, right? Uh, yeah. Like, he's been, he's, he's been, been at it for a while. Yeah. Right. He's been, he's been growing pretty quick here recently. Yeah. He just yeah. put out an album, uh, last week. Yeah. So the, the the next thing you need to do is you need to go to YouTube, go to GC Nature Media, and then I want you to go listen to all the songs, the live songs we have on there. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. The, the Braxton oh, well. Keith, Keith songs are are my personal favorite. He's yeah. on one tonight. Uh, yeah, I, I really <laughs> am. Uh, leave. Uh, he just dropped Leave, um, and he actually played it on right where you're sitting, really. Um, yeah. <laughs> about uh, last fall. And uh, when he was fan, van, fantastic, yeah, fantastic. I, th- I'm sorry, Braxton. I think our version <laughs> of Leave is better than the one he put out. But really, I, I it's still good. No song. bias though, right? No, it's better. <laughs> it's better. For sure. I, it, you, just go, go listen I'll, to both. I'll listen to them. Yeah, go listen to sure. seriously. Like, yeah. like, n- like no bias. Go and l- listen to them. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. sorry. You would you like to plug anything else or? Uh yeah. What what else? What else we got out there? GC Nation sessions. <laughs> uh, go, go listen to. Go, you didn't go plug listen. South Hall go, yet. I'm go check out Reagan. I haven't <laughs> plugged South Hall yet. I I I thought I'd steer around it because I'm literally wearing yeah. a South Hall shirt. <laughs> but go listen to South Hall. Too. So we went yeah. we went down to Durant to do an episode of William Clark Clark Green back in the fall, yep. and we get in the car and we're like headed down there. We're like halfway there and we're like. We realized we're both wearing the same oh, shirt, and yeah. it was a South Hall yeah. shirt. And I was like, "This looks bad. This looks awful. Yeah, <laughs> this looks, looks bad. terrible." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are, are, are you a Treaty Oak fan? I, I like Treaty Oak. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was actually playing their song on the way here. Perfect. Which yeah. one? Which one? Uh, what's the one that's like? What just happened? I don't know. <laughs> someone, someone fell. Uh, it was Jet. <laughs> you. <laughs> You, you dirty duck, Jet. <laughs> Did he jet, say don't jet, say jet, my jet, name jet, on jet, the podcast? Oh. <laughs> All right, Jet, we won't say your name. Okay, F- F-16. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> I, I can't. I, I think it was in between. Okay. Why oh, don't you bring a little more to it? So the yeah. off the yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. That was, I, I think that's the first song off the new album we heard him play live before it came out. Wasn't it? Yeah. Were they playing that one a little yeah, bit? They did. Okay. They talked about cl- close encounters as well. <clears throat> yeah. Just on, on the podcast. Ca- just casually. Yeah. Just talking about it. Just casual. Yeah. yeah just casual. <laughs> and I said, "Who the hell is that?" <laughs> Have you seen that clip that we posted? Oh god, I don't think so. Oh, oh, that's yeah, good please, stuff. please play it. <laughs> it's it's fantastic. It's hilarious. He, so a l- little b- backstory before we we talked to him at C- Caffrey Christmas. Yeah. We had him on before, so we we had kind of already talk- talked to him before. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, they were talking about a, they had a uh, skit that they had for the new album that they didn't yeah. get put on there. And it was uh, he was telling us about it, and it yeah. was about this like this guy that was out at one of their shows. And then yeah, pass that over. Hold it up to the mic. Yeah, hold, hold it to the mic. And water water. Potty. <laughs> and they were outside <laughs> sitting on this bench, and I hear, like, this commotion outside, like, this guy coming up, like, cussing and screaming <laughs> stuff, and I was like, what the hell is going on? So I came out of the Porta John, and there's this dude there wearing, like, an American flag, like, support the police shirt, like, bright yellow safety glasses like plastic safety glasses <laughs> shaved bald like this guy was shaved down just saying stuff like shit man i was just coming out from getting my registration done and i heard i heard that sound i said who the hell is that <laughs> and i was like treaty treaty oak revival and he was like treaty oak Revi-. he's like man y'all are gonna need to acronym that or something like that that's too long of a name and i was like uh okay so you're the bass player tonight right and he was like yes sir and then like he went to shake him shake his hand the guy was like oh yeah snapdragon i was i was 
Dude, that's uh, awesome. And I said, who the hell is that? <laughs> oh, yeah. You have to shorten Snack that or dragon. something. <laughs> oh, my God. That's hilarious. That's funny, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. Um, yeah. Where can people check you out if they want to check out your music or check out your socials? So I'm on everything. Uh, Spotify, Apple Music, you know. I think Amazon Music, too. Like, all of them. Uh, and then... Okay, Garth. <laughs> and then my Instagram <laughs> is official Jake Taylor. And then my TikTok is Jay Taylor Music. You can also buy, buy his box set at Bass Pro. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that? Uh uh-uh. uh. Garth. <laughs> Garth only is selling his new album. It's in a seven disc box set. Yeah. And it's only available at Bass Pro on DVD or on CD. Really? I think it's selling like really good. <laughs> I, I, mean, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> He's like uh, greatest, one of the greatest of all time. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, Jake, we appreciate you coming on. Yeah, man. And uh, you hopefully, guys. we'll uh, catch up with you down the road here yeah. sometime too. Thank you, yeah, man. Yeah, for sure, man. Awesome. Thank awesome. you. Thank you. Thank you, guys.